Well, hello and welcome back to the final exam review series for Intermediate Algebra. This is Joe Brownlee and we are on question number nine, so let's get into it. All right, question number nine. The directions are pretty easy enough. It just says find the product. And they give us a binomial of 7x minus 11y squared. Well, let's go ahead and recall what it means when we square something. So if I were to give you 2 squared, hopefully you would tell me, well, that just means that we're going to multiply 2 by itself twice. And of course, that would be 4. And again, if I said, well, what is 3 squared, you'll just tell me that the square indicates that we're multiplying this particular entity, which in this case is 3, by itself twice. And so 3 times 3 equals 9. Well, here we're going to apply that same logic, except instead of it being just a simple integer, we actually have a binomial here. But that's no big deal, because all we're going to do is treat it the same way. And so if they give us 7x minus 11y. Well, to square it means write it again and multiply. And when we are multiplying a binomial by a binomial, we're going to use the FOIL method. And of course, FOIL means first, outer, inner, and then last. So that is our first, our outer, our inner, and then last. So let's go ahead and actually start doing the multiplication here. 7x times 7x, well 7 times 7 is 49, and x times x, well that's x squared, <clears throat> excuse me. 7x times negative 11y, well that's a negative 77xy. Negative 11y times positive 7x, well again, that's negative 77xy. And then lastly, negative 11y times negative 11y, well that's just a positive 121y squared. Well now I have like terms I can combine. So let's go ahead and rewrite this equation, or uh, expression rather. So we have 49x squared. Well, negative 77 and negative 77 is negative 154. And of course, I make sure to write my xy. And then my plus 121y squared. And that is it. I can't go any further with this. That is the result of my FOIL of the binomial 7x plus, excuse me, 7x minus 11y squared. 49x squared minus 154xy plus 121y squared. Not too bad. We all like the FOIL method, right? Wish there was a whole test full of them. Uh, at any rate, that was question number 9. Uh, we are going to be moving on to question number 10, which is on our second page. So I hope to see you there. Uh, again, this is Joe Brownlee, and you just watched a review for the Intermediate Algebra final exam. Thanks again for watching.